If we take a look back at Western painting history, the introduction of this bismuth yellow could be something akin to what was lead tin yellow. It's very similar. And usually lead tin yellow was glazed with yellow earths just to give it like a little more punch. And if you think about it, that's kind of what we're doing now. I mean, bismuth yellow handles very differently from lead tin yellow, but it's actually pretty darn close because there's no lead in bismuth yellow, even though bismuth has a very nice body to it, but it's not even comparable to the body that leaded paints have. So that's going to be a real difference. But that's why lead tin yellow was such a wonderful addition to very traditional earthy palettes 500 years ago, because it just kind of makes sense. It does have a place in this harmonious earthy color palette that was so prevalent in, you know, Renaissance, high Renaissance Baroque painting.